Hello everybody, it's Uncle Mars with my wine review. This is going to be episode number two of Elite Wine. Thank you for joining us. Uh, start right off, we got a wine called Sea Cliff Zinfandel. Bought this also at cost, not Costco, World Market. It was a uh, $6.98. And uh, you know, I just bought it because it was like the cheapest Zinfandel there, to be honest. I love Zinfandel, it's one of my favorite var varietals. And uh, it's a 2007. It's just California as far as the appellation, so it's uh, it, the grapes can come from anywhere in California. They can come from you know somebody's backyard in LA. Um, it's a 13.5 percent alcohol, so uh, hopefully uh, for yesterday's wine it won't be as won't have as much alcohol going on. Um, granted, I, I'm recording all these the same day, so let's uh, let's do a little rinse first, so we can get the other wine that was in there. The three through seven. By the way, yeah, the three through seven was pretty good. So, I mean, I'd buy it again. Why not? But like I said, I wouldn't buy like tons of it just because it's you know fourteen bucks. All right, so let's see. If there's anything uh, special about this on the back of the hoopty nugget? Not really. Uh, it's a Seacliff Winery in Santa Rosa, California. So you know that much. All right, so let's uh let's check out the uh, the bouquet. There's my 360 in the background. All right, so this one, uh, first of all, it doesn't have as much alcohol in the nose as, as yesterday's wine. Um, it's a softer, definitely a softer wine. I'm getting a, a brighter fruit, um, kind of a, like a bright red fruit can't really be more specific than that. Honestly, my nose tends to be very, very picky or very, um, not picky, but isn't always very consistent in picking up stuff. I can pick up sometimes great aromas and other times I really can't pick up any of it. But definitely, uh, definitely something that I like. So let's give it a whirl. So this is um, definitely isn't as dry uh, as the last wine. I, I should stop referencing yesterday's wine. It's, uh, it's not really that dry. Um, there's a little bit of, of um, dryness on, on the gums and the mouth, but it's, it's definitely a sweeter wine. Um, it's much more enjoyable, like the drink by itself. And I'm getting I'm getting like the bright red fruits again. Um, let's see if I can get something a little more specific than that. Yeah, I mean it's it's tasty. I like it. Um, I don't know if, if I'm gonna be rating wines very much, but um, I mean I guess if I had to give it a score, well, I, I'm gonna guess I'd give it like oh I don't know. Let's just say somewhere between 85 and 88. Can't really get nailed down that much. You know this is episode number two, guys. I'm still learning how I want to do all this stuff, and if I want to do ratings or if uh, I want to do any extra content and stuff like that, but you know, what? for six ninety eight, I'd buy it again. Um, I'd serve it. You know, I'd, I'd serve it to people. Um, I could see making this more of a regular wine, maybe an everyday wine. Uh, it's definitely not something that's high end. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring this to a party. You know, talking about, oh, hey, we got a great Zinfandel here. I would, I would be like, somebody's over at the house. You want some red wine? We're having some. We're having some, say, maybe some pasta or maybe even steak. I'd serve it with that, uh, even though I would just drink it on its own. Um, all right, so that's episode number two. As always, uh, to, to the right, we've got uh, the PayPal donation and subscribe buttons. Feel free to donate. Uh, just trying to, I'm going to be hawking every day. Uh, but it's just to help pay for the cost of the wine and the web hosting. Uh, you don't have to donate at all. But uh, if you do, that'd be cool. You can donate whatever you want. And I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, and we'll be back again tomorrow with another episode of Elite Wine TV. Thanks.